What well, do, man? They big walk dog, the biggest big walk dog in the soul and the flip. And I just jumped off the port with Dirty Glove Belster. I ain't folded, like the been blue out of back, she been over. Told the bitch at the back, she know it. Hoping in the pull out. All right, so we got Big Walk Dog yes, off sir. the porch with us today, man. Yes, sir, the biggest, man. The biggest, the biggest. Yeah, man. How you feeling today, bro? Man, come on, bliss, man. I'm bliss. I'm here. Yeah, no yeah for doubt, sure, man. for sure. What else you got shaking here in Atlanta during this trip, man? Man, a couple videos, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit a couple miles, just get a look. We're doing a whole little vlog and everything, you know what okay. I'm saying? Tell my whole story, you yeah. know what I'm saying, where I come from. And, you know, work, a lot of work. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man. All right, so how you liking being a rapper so far, man? Oh, yeah, man. I, I love it, man. This, 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 this is my lifestyle, really. You know, this is what I do. I grew up doing this, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, a second nature to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. I feel that, man. All right, so Tutwiler, Mississippi, yeah, man. man. Definitely Chief the first City. one from there to sit on this porch. Yes, so, so talk about the town, man. Man, man, that's in, that's in the, like the heart of the Delta, man, the middle of the Delta, middle of nowhere. We ain't got really much out there but cornfield. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's really not much out there, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's somewhere to be from, you know. But, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's my city, though. Okay. Like, I stand on that yeah. 100%. For what, sure. what was your childhood like? Uh, what were you into when you were growing up? Man, I'm going to say like any other child, man, in the streets, don't come in the house with me, you're supposed to, bad, you know, <laughs> just a regular child. So, you know, it like, like, you know what I'm saying? Life was so-so, was you know what I'm saying? It wasn't perfect. It wasn't so bad neither, you know. But, you know, everybody got a story, you know. So, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying about that one. Though, yeah. At what age would you say you jumped off the porch? <sighs> Man, I ain't even have a porch. We 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 been jumping off porches. We we flipping off porches. Really, to be honest, we been out, we been jumping off the porch, man. It, that's nothing. We we been jumped off the porch. I'ma say, but I'ma give you an age. I'ma say, I'ma say about, I'ma say 13, 14. Though I ain't gonna, you know, I'ma say about 13, 14. I just that when I really just jumped off the porch. Okay. Say that. You got any siblings? Yeah, I got I got a few siblings. I got a few siblings. I got a couple brothers and a couple sisters. You know, yeah. Yeah, I got a free seven. Yeah. Okay. So did you finish school? Yeah, I did finish school though. I, I, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I, I, I had my, you know what I'm saying. I had my mom. I had my dad, mom and dad with me. You know what I'm saying. They, they been in my life. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I finished school. You know, like I said, that's something we had to do though. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Just from being from where we from, we had to do that. What about college? Did you go to college? Man. Or you even think about going? Or once you were done with high school, it's like, man, that's it, man. Y'all got 12 years out of me. Man, I went to Mississippi Valley State, man. I had an 8 o'clock class. I just couldn't get up at 8 o'clock. I dropped out of college, man. I couldn't, <laughs> oh, yeah. I couldn't do it, man. Yeah, I couldn't, just, I couldn't even just mess with it like that, man. Yeah, yeah school wasn't just for me. The 12 years I was in school, I didn't, I didn't get what I was supposed to be got, you know, so... So now nah, I just didn't, I dropped, dropped out of college, man. I'm gone, yeah. So how long have you been making music? When did you first start rapping? Man, I, I've been rapping, like, for all my life. Like, just just doing it, you know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's what I love to do. But seriously, rapping, like, putting out music, it's been like a year. Like, I'm going to say it's been like just a year. Okay. Like, right on a year. Yeah. Putting out music, so, yeah. What had inspired you to start finally releasing some music? Man, to be honest with you, I, I I moved from I moved from Mississippi to Memphis. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I linked up, I linked up with Scooter. You know what I'm saying? That's my big brother. You know what I'm saying? He had a studio, a little personal studio or whatever. And I linked up with him, and I recorded a song with him. You know what I'm saying? It, at first, it was like a business thing. At first, you know what I'm saying? It was just like you know, you know, he had a studio he had to run. You know what I'm saying? It was like a business thing. So shit, we linked up and. End up, you know what I'm saying, dropping a song. The song did I right then because it was my first time actually recording in a real studio. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? So came back. I kept coming back. So he was like, okay. I see, I see, I see. He want to, you know what I'm saying? He trying to rap or whatever. So she said, bro, just, she said, bro, just open the studio to me. Since then, it's just been go. Yeah. It's just been go. All right. So have you been surprised by how quickly your music has been taken off this past year? Man, I wouldn't I wouldn't say surprised because, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing it for to do that. But yeah, like it been moving like, yeah, like we, we, we didn't expect it just to move like that. We know what I'm capable of, but, you know, we just didn't expect for it to just you know, do what it did. It took a whole lot of people, though. But, you know, people people respect the real. You know what I'm saying? Once they hear the real, they know what it is. So they grab hold of it. So yeah. that's why I think it's gravitating like that now. 
Okay. Do you write your raps or do you freestyle and punch in, man? Man, I, I'm gonna be honest. I do a little both, but you know, see, I grew, I, I came up freestyling. Like okay. that's what I do. That's that, that's me off the most. That's what I do. But I'm gonna say when I okay, I like freestyling and build You know what I'm saying? Cause when I freestyle, I can just I'm gonna just give you everything. But when I write, you know what I'm saying? It kind of messes with my process. But I, you know, most of the time I write though. Most of the time I write though. Okay. But I yeah, I prefer writing over freestyling though. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the music scene like back home in Mississippi and how does it compare to Memphis where you're staying at now? I mean, it, it's a lot of talent out there. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of talent my way, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no no music scene out there though. You know what I'm saying? That I feel like most of the people that are down there trying to create a music scene, like isn't it, it, it's really not a music scene in Mississippi. Like, I mean, it's a free artist that kind of made it, you know what I'm saying, from Mississippi, but it ain't really no music scene out there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it really ain't no music scene in Mississippi. All right, so why do you think it's so hard for a rapper from Mississippi to blow up? Why do you feel like you guys are overlooked out there? Man, cause it, I'm gonna be honest, there's really nothing out there, man. You know, people, it, when, when there's nothing out there, people tend to look over it, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, we don't, you know what I'm saying? It's really, it's really nothing for you to, nothing in Mississippi for nobody, to be honest. I feel like everybody in Mississippi, in, in their own way, want to get out of Mississippi, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, yeah, it's, it's like a lot of poverty. It's, it's, I mean, it's just you know what I'm saying. You look up Mississippi, man. You don't see nothing but cornfields and you know what I'm saying, shit like that. You don't really see nothing about no music, none of that. You know what I'm saying. You probably see a couple of prisons or something. That's it. Yeah. But no music. It ain't no music scene out there. But I feel like everybody from Mississippi that's rapping, trying to create a, you know what I'm saying, create a, yeah, for sure. Is it important for you to put on for Mississippi then? Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I, yeah, for sure. To be recognized, you know what I'm saying, just as one of, you know what I'm saying, as a Mississippi artist and being, you know what I'm saying, recognized how I've been recognized. Yeah, that, I mess with that for sure. You know what I'm saying, that's where I'm from, you know, so I stand on that, you know. Yeah. All right, do you feel like uh, moving to Memphis really helped you with your career, especially since, like, the music scene out there has been on fire these last couple of years? Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, man. Like, me moving to Memphis, really just what made me start putting out music, you know what I'm saying? I I mean, I, like I said, I always been rapping, but I ain't never had, like, we ain't had no access to no studio down there, really. You had to travel to Memphis to go to a studio. Yeah. So when I linked up with Scooter, Scooter now, man, it was like, shit, it's a go. I ain't, I ain't want, you know what I'm saying, shit. It was dead on it. It was a go from there. Yeah. For sure. All right, let's talk about some of these songs and videos, man. Let's oh, yeah. start with the uh, 1382. 1382, man. man. Yeah. So explain that title first, off. Man, it was crazy, man. We was in the studio. We just knocked, knocked me, me and Shaw, me and No Hard, man. My boy No Hard, Shaw. We in the studio. We just knocking shit out. We just, you know what I'm saying, just dropping. And you know what I'm saying, in the middle, I, I ain't even finished that song all the way when I was in the studio. I got to the end and finished it. So I was just, I was in the, we was just in, you know what I'm saying, we just said, damn. We gotta finish this jump right here. So I was going line by line, just freestyling. Like school punch me in, line by line. And shit, I just said some 13 over 82. Not knowing, you know what I'm saying, the shit just worked like this somewhere. Not knowing 1382, you add it up, it's 95 Studio. I mean, it's 95, and that's the name of Scooter Studio, 95 oh, really? Studio. Okay. So that's what we stuck with the name. 1382, 13 plus 82, 95, 95 Studio. So we just rock with it. Okay. It's just something we just rock with, you know what I'm saying? We ain't questioning because it, it was too. It was, it was just something that ain't never happened, so we said we ain't gonna question that. Yeah. All right, you got this song and video for Circle K out, man. Circle this, K, been going man. crazy, man. Circle what can K. you tell us about this song? Man, man? what's crazy about Circle K, man, it, it's, a, it's based off some true shit that happened in Atlanta. Oh, yeah? Man, we man we had a we had a fucking show in Atlanta, man. Man, it was like, it was, yeah, we had, a, we had a show in Atlanta, man. We went and rocked the show, woo do woo do woo Man. You know, we leaving the show or whatever, and like, I'm, we just, we, we don't care, you know what I'm saying? We, we, you live and you die, man. We just some free body, man. We, don't, we, we, certain places we don't supposed to go, we go, you know what I'm saying? That life, you know what I'm saying? We don't, we can't run away from nothing really, you know what I'm saying? What go happen, go happen, you know what I'm saying? So we, you know what I'm saying? We, we left the show or whatever, and we went to a gas station right down the street from the store. I can't even remember what, what part of Atlanta we was in. But shit, we, it was it was a circuit Kato. Okay. And we got to the store, and I was I was, I, was, I was, see I, I I'm light today. I had plenty of ice on. I'm talking about we in the store. We walk around the store with my brothers and stuff ran in the store with and it was a car part that the store was not. And then you know what I'm saying they part. We just looking. I'm like, 
I don't know, fool, y'all see that, you know, y'all see that car right there? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who in that car? You know what I'm saying? But we ain't think nothing of it, you know what I'm saying? We just leaving the show. Whole time, there's some guys in the car trying to, you know what I'm saying? Thought they were finna get a move over on us, you know what I'm saying? So, man, we, man, we went in the store or whatever, and we see the guy looking on the camera and shit, the, the guy on the store looking in the cameras and shit, seeing the guys and shit, you know what I'm saying, with the guns and shit in the car. So we like, oh, it like that? I'm gonna leave it at that, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. But yeah, that, that, that where they come from, though. Yeah. That where they come from, though, yeah. Yeah, Circle K, yeah. Did, Circle K, for sure. Did you expect that one to go up like it did, man? I think it's almost at 200,000 right now. Man, that motherfucker moving, man. I mean, like I said, man, we we expect the unexpected, you know what I'm saying? So we just, we, we expect it to do it, but we don't, you know what I'm saying? Cause we, you know what I'm saying, the bull growing, so. It's a surprise. It's surprising, but at the same time, we know what's up. We know what's gonna happen. You know, yeah, for sure. And talk to us about the inspiration on this song, number nine. Number nine, man. Oh uh, man, they did a list, man. Mississippi top top um twenty list or something like that. And you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is my first year rapping. You know what I'm saying? Putting we're putting out music or whatever. This is my first year rapping. And you know what I'm saying? The list came out of whatever, and my brother hit me. He was like, man, you, you on the list, you know what I'm saying? You number nine on the list, woo doo. I like, damn, list. So it's a couple guys on there, a couple guys that hiding everything on the list. Shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? A couple guys on that motherfucker. I was number nine on the jump. And you know what I'm saying? I really, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest. I I really didn't care about the list, you know what I'm saying? But it was cool being recognized, because you know what I'm saying? This is my first year rapping, you know what I'm saying? So it was cool being recognized, whatever. But shit. Man, me being me, I, I, I'm about to merge, man. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to go up. Man, shit, let's drop a song about this list. You know what I'm saying? So we went like that. Man, drop number nine. Man, drop that. That motherfucker did what he did. Next thing you know, they dropped another list. We number three on the list. <laughs> you we, jumped up? Yeah, that we way. jumped up on the list. And then, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah, oh, yeah, it, it went up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And uh, how'd you link up with Wicked Films, man? So you've been doing a couple of these one take videos that he. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Wicked, man. Yeah, shit. Like I said, it was a Memphis thing. I did a uh, did a live performance with him. You know what I'm saying? And it went up. So shit, like I said, we 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 were going up. You know what I'm saying? So shit, we rock with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Wicked though. Shout out to Wicked. Okay. All right, you got the song you just dropped called 2 a.m., man. 2 a.m., man. Yeah, what do you rap about on 2 a.m.? Man, on I 40 with a Glock 40, extra 21 with a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Man, 2 a.m., man, that, that like, I'm going to be honest, that's just, that's just me. When I be leaving, you know, sometimes I go ride Mississippi by myself, just ride Mississippi and shoot back to Memphis. Sometimes I just be riding, riding late or whatever, man. That's what that song came about. I'm just riding, you know what I'm saying? Shit, sometimes when I ride, I'm just, I ain't even focused on the road. I'm riding, riding music, you know what I'm saying? That's just me. You know what I'm saying? That's what that song really came about, though. I just was riding and shit, me passing, me getting off on the exit, goddamn the exit. I on I for the getting off on the exit and shit. And shit, I just put everything I do in my music. You know what I'm saying? No, no cap, no cap about nothing. You know what I'm saying? For real. Plans to shoot a video for that one, or is that just gonna be audio? Man, believe it or not, man, I'm, I'm gonna give you the sauce. We we doing that today. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. We, we shooting a couple videos today. It's a whole lot of whole lot of everything on the way. For real, for real. Okay. So do you got? Are you working on a new project, or are you kind of just focusing on these singles and videos? Man, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I had somebody ask me, well, you know, what I'm saying when you go drop a mixtape, the reason why I'm gonna say this, the reason why I don't want to drop no mixtape because everything come with timing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might drop a mixtape with a song. I might drop a mixtape in the winter with a song that would have been hot in the summer on it. So I done fucked up now. You know what I'm saying? Now this song I didn't dropped in the winter. It would have made a hit in the summer. If I would have just dropped it, you know what I'm saying, as a single. So that's how I go about it. I feel like everything got a timing on it. When I drop something, I'm going to drop it because I know it's the right time for it. Mm -hmm. For sure. I feel that, man. Uh, who's some of the producers you've been working with lately? Man, it's been a, it, it's been a couple, you know what I'm saying? I, shit, it's been so many, just it, it hard to name. Like I said, the, the Scooter, that what I recall with, you know what I'm saying? He do, he do most of the beats or whatever. But it's, yeah, it's a few of them. It's a few of them. I, shit, I, I wouldn't name it. It's just so many of them. So, okay. yeah. All right, so I'm sure labels have been reaching out to you, man. Man, it's been some shit. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it been some, it been some calls or whatever, man. I ain't go, I ain't go, I ain't go talk too much, man. I don't want to miss my blessing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's been shit, been shit, it been that, man, for real. Like a lot of shit I ain't expect been happening. A lot of, lot of calls I've been getting. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? That 
you know what I'm saying, that I, I, I was seeing, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing, getting money or whatever, you know what I'm saying, reaching out to me. So that shit got me like, yeah, we next, for sure. Yeah. If you were to sign a deal, what do you look for out of a label, man? Ooh, if I were to sign a deal, what I look for out of a label? Man, I'm going to say, man, just let me work. Just, just, I just need you to, you, you, you handle your business side, do what you do. Don't fuck me. Handle your business side, do what you do. Just let, just let me work. Make me the main priority. We go bring in the money regardless. Cause it, like I said, it music, music what I do. I don't, I don't do nothing else but music. Like, this my job, you know what I'm saying? You put, you, you put that right push behind me, I'm gone. I'm, I'm gone, that without a doubt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they just me speaking, you know what I'm saying? I don't know cock, they just, I just know. I got that right push, I'm gone, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, any artists you want to work with in the future? Man, ooh, I got plenty, man. I, I'm going to start with the A, man. Man, Lil Baby, Gucci, man, all the A. I fuck with a lot of Memphis rappers. Yeah. But I'm going to say, yeah, for sure, look, if you want me to be specific, I'm going to say Lil Baby and Gucci now. Like, them guys, I, man, them, yeah, them guys got it. They got the juice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I love to work with them, for real. It coming soon, though. Yeah. For a fact. I know it. Uh, you definitely on your way, man. Yes, sir. Please. Feel like you can handle your own on the track with got us too, to, man. man. Got to. Yeah. Did it take long for you to develop your flow, man? Because anyone that listens to your music can probably catch that right away. That you, you just be flowing. Yeah. See, songs, man. Uh, thing about me, man. I, man, like I said, once I, once I got shit in my mind, what I'm feeling like, once I find my tempo on it, it's over. Like it's just only thing, only thing we be looking for. Like when I when I write music, you know what I'm saying, like. I got a whole team with me, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even no, no, not no contract shit. I'm just saying, like, my brothers and my people, I got a whole team, like, cameraman and everything. We, like, we, like, stuck together. We got, like, a whole team. And everything I drop, that shit, like, come in rotation with us before we even, you know what I'm saying, before anybody here. And shit, like, when I get to, especially from my brother now, you know what I'm saying, when I get to go from him, it's a go. We go drop, you know what I'm saying? We go drop for sure. Yeah. But yeah, 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 for sure. What's next for you, Walk Dog? What else coming up for man, you? Man, up. Up, up, up. <laughs> I don't, man, I don't see nothing else but up. Like, for real, yeah. But up, man, I just, I can't stop. I ain't, no, you know, I ain't never had shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We come from really nothing. You know what I'm saying? And to have an opportunity where motherfuckers got life changing, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't always about the money, but life changing opportunity getting thrown at you. You know what I'm saying? You, you, why would you stop? You know what I'm saying? Why would you say, damn? Uh, these niggas doing all this shit, you know what I'm saying, trying to get me to do this. Nigga, you ain't never had shit, you better do it. Or you ain't gonna never be shit, you know what I'm saying? Especially where you're from, man. It ain't, it, it don't, where I'm from, it, don't, it ain't no type of creations to make you nothing. Like, you you just, you get it on your own. You be who you gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Whether you this or whether you that, you gonna be that because you made yourself that. You ain't got no help, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no help at all, yeah. for sure. Real shit right there. All right, so any last words, any uh, shout outs before we wrap it up here today? Man, shout out to the world. I'm on the way. I want to say shout out, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my team, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, for real. We got a lot, we got a lot of shit on the way. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole Mississippi Delta, it, all the fans, everybody that fuck with me. Yeah, for sure. We, we got plenty on the way. I fuck with y'all. We, we going up the long way, for real, for real. I ain't folded, like the been blue out of back, she been over. Told the bitch, big daddy back, and she know it. Hope a nigga pull out them racks and just show it. Send a nigga 